Some of you recently asked me to do a comparison of a four-wheeled skate with a three-wheeled skate, and I thought, why not? If I keep the video down to simple impressions of both skates and don't attempt to quantify much, the premise and the process could be fun. I would rip in the super light, agile Gyro GX7 with the 80mm wheels first, then go home and switch to what I call the city crossers. The Flying Eagle Drift with a speed frame and three 110mm wheels. And these skates are really loose in the ankle. There's great mobility. They've got a nice stiff boot, so power transfer isn't a real problem. But you don't get that elastic assistance from the cuff like you would normally get. But that makes it a very attractive skate for freestyle and slalom stuff, I guess. Or dancing. What I'll do is I'll just do the sprint to the blue line, um, confirm a, a bias I already have. Here we go. Ooh, that felt sloppy. Nice stop on the line. Boom. Not quite. I did get partway through the testing with this video. Comparison never really was made. Don't expect a full comparison video at all. So I want to stay somewhat fresh for my Flying Eagle drifts and the big wheels, but I still want to bring these out where I can give you an impression of how agile I might or may not feel. really get super low in these. I like that. So for good skating form, very encouraging fit. Playing a little dangerous today. I'm feeling pretty grumpy about pedestrians right now, so I'm going to pack it in early. Maybe rush hour is the wrong time to do a maneuverability test on these skates. So let's go into the road. Oh, and life begins again. Unfortunately, the audio was knocked out in this crash too. But what happened was not too dramatic at all. The driver and passenger got out and apologized profusely, checked over my injuries. I gave them a little lecture on a lot of cyclists come through here. You could have hit any one of us. It was only a matter of time kind of stuff. They apologized even more unconditionally. And I lost my ability to hold a grudge or be angry at anybody but myself. That sucked too. Okay, that totally sucked. And now I think I'm gonna have to head home because I was getting a little irritated before that happened and so I had a bad feeling. And now I just feel like a rat trapped in a maze. Very aggressive under the So that's all I got, no fancy outro, just one more line. There you go. Oh yeah, I'm okay. I, I escaped with all my functionality, so I shouldn't complain much. But I will complain a little. I gotta wait it out in a garbage where society thinks I should be. Alright, I'll just stay here. Calm. More positive thoughts. I might have to visualize to like Enya or something. So for some reason I don't really feel like skating today. Since the crash of 2016, I haven't put the skates on. That was the day before yesterday. For some reason I just feel like uh taking a little rest. On that arm we had uh, a little bit of 
trouble to the uh, the bicep that's what took the majority of the crash and the forearm and the knuckles puffed up a little bit when I got home so that was the adventure yesterday tomorrow I'm concentrating on something entirely new it's something that hasn't been seen in North America and I'm very excited it's obviously something I don't even know existed until yesterday thanks to Crow Skaters Place yesterday's debacle and I can't call it anything other than a debacle was designed by me and perhaps it was executed by the guy in the nice car you can expect people in a traffic jam to be impatient in the middle of a city to open the door pop out and go to their destination if they're a passenger it's not that crazy that somebody would do it King Street is the absolute worst street to rollerblade on in Toronto I've had problems on King Street before because of the tar serpents and I find that there's just not enough room to get a decent stride in many places along King Street. Cars really rule King Street and I would not be broken up at all to see drivers lose an entire lane to a cycle lane. I wasn't sure about it before, but now I say yes, take that other lane on King Street and turn it into a skate lane slash cycle lane. So I laid on the ground back there, not to be a Ronaldo, but I was actually checking to see if any bones were sticking out. I haven't hit a door like that for ages. So the damage right now I think is like a minor wrist on the radius jobby. But the real problem is gonna be in the bicep. And I say that because it's bruising already and it's not a common bruise I get. And I've got some numbness in the first three fingers. And I don't think it's from the rest thing. So yeah, just when I was getting huge, I'm fucked again.